Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Chapek in sunny Geneva. Uh, we are in the Chapek store with the trams passing by. You will feel uh, them uh, seeing on my face the shadow of them. And uh, we are here to talk about the latest invention, the latest model, the Antarctic Rattrapante. So you see on that tray, the Rattrapante is here. And there are three other watches, each of them explaining a bit the birth of the Rattrapante. So let's start with the first one. The first one is a chrono, a rough chrono. It's a chrono that was invented in 2012 to re-establish the company. When you re-establish a, co a company, you need to show that it's not a speculation, that it's a real project. And Harry made a dozen of prototypes, basing them on a vintage movement, a Valjoux 7733. So, mechanical hand wound uh, chronograph, uh, which has a lot of depth and a lot of cam. And one of our uh, friends, uh, who became later shareholder and even board member, bought it and told me how much the people love to play with the different cams and the mechanism. That they were fascinated, so, sort of hypnotized. And that was the birth of the idea behind the Antarctic Rattrapante, behind the idea of having an open work chronograph. We launched the first project in 2015 and we failed. The equation was impossible. We tried again in 2018 with the same result. And finally, in 2019, we sit again with Cronod and the idea of the Rattrapante came out. We were able to come in the market with a function, the Rattrapante, that had never been done as an open work dial side complication. Now, that was the first model. The second model is here to explain the SHX6, the new model that powers the Rattrapante. Here is the beauty. It's a more covered model that was created together with the Rattrapante to make sure that we were finding the perfect balance of power and uh, precision. Now you can see that there is a shape and this shape might remind you of various movements, especially the chrono, the initial Fobo de Cracovie chrono that we made uh, with Vaucher, and that has a very special rotor. This rotor gave birth to the shape of the bridge of the SHX-6, the Antarctic. And they were all inspired from that bridge as a series of components of bridges with an angle. Now we just decided to continue that story when we did the SHX-6. Now let's talk about the other side. Here I'm using the uh, fantastic tool to switch and connect the bracelet. Here is the Rattrapante. You have two sides. The upper side is all about the chronograph and the lower side that is dedicated to the indication of the second of the time, indication of the minute of the chrono, and the rattrapante or split second. So there are two column wheel, one column wheel at the top for the chrono function, one column wheel at the bottom for the rattrapante function. You actually see the beginning of the rattrapante clamp that starts at the very bottom of the watch at six o'clock. They come like this under this tripod and action the rattrapante mechanism. This mechanism together with the clamp is patent pending. It uses a special shape and a special width that is new to the industry. The chronograph function and the rattrapante function are independent and connected. So the, the split second hand is going to follow the second of the chronograph until being stopped and then the chronograph can be reset without having to reset the split second. It can be reset later on. If you look now at the detail of the chrono side or the chrono mechanism, you can see that all the steel levers which are satin are also chamfered, hand chamfered. So it's a revelation 
of craftsmanship. It's a tribute to craftsmanship with so many angles, handily polished, like mirror. And the beauty is, of course, to action the mechanism and see all of them move as they were in the initial model from Valjoux. Now, of course, we've gone to another level in terms of complexity and execution. So let's look now at the mechanism of the chronograph. It's distributed from nine to three. At nine, you have the lever for the second of the, of the time that is powering the second of the chrono. It's actioned by the column wheel, and you see the whole lever moves forward a little wheel connected to the wheel of the seconds. On the other side, you see the big hammer that is armed when you start the chrono. And that suddenly jumps back to reset after you press. If we start again the chronograph, we have the rattrapante function. The rattrapante function is at the bottom from six to uh, the center. And you see here the two clamps that are pressing the cylinder to stop the hand of the split second. You can hear it even. And then on the liberation, the split second hand goes back under the second hand, the chronograph second hand. All this is action by the second uh, column wheel, which has a, a little uh, screw turning left side, so the opposite of front side. That's why there are three rays on the top of the screw. A little detail for people who love mechanics. Now, the last part of this watch and, and not the least, is the center, is the incredible tripod. In this tripod, you have at the bottom, the split second mechanism that is like a cylinder. And on top of it, you have a satellite minute train, which is miniaturized to be taking at least the least place possible. And it's floating in the air, giving an impression of depth that is unique. Now we have spoken about the caliber and there are many more things to see and to discover in it. So I let you discover it when you will have one in your hands. Let's speak now a little bit about the collection. The Antarctic is a collection we launched last year in the middle of a very strange time called the pandemic. And is the one that became a game changer for Chapek. We have been working on this watch for two years. And it's really the summary of all the conversation we had with so many watch collectors worldwide. We wanted this watch to expand. So this is the older son. This is the second born. And you will see a little third that is androgyne. It's as much for women or for men that will come very soon. So we took the Antarctic case to create the rattrapante case. And it's really the same spirit just that we had to make so many changes that it's a completely new case, taking the same trompe l'oeil on both sides, but with pushers integrated. It keeps the same depth, but what is most important is the construction. The sensation when wearing this watch is very unique because the watch suddenly feels slimmer than when you had it in the hand. It's because of the adaptation to the wrist, because of the construction. Because of the dome black glass box, in the end, it's an impressive view and a spectacular view, but a very uh, natural feel on the wrist. So the idea of exploration is always behind it. We always gave name of locations for our collections. We started from where Chapek started to work in Geneva to the different locations where he sold watches, Place Vendôme, Faubourg de Cracovie. And then there was this idea of, of exploration with a link to, at the same time, the climate change, which of course he would have been um, sensitive to, and the we collect rare people who represent our shareholders today and who are concerned also with what's happening. So the Antarctic was, if you want, the place, the meeting point of all these attentions. It's not only about preserving climate. It's not only about preserving a certain spirit. It's also about preserving watchmaking, about preserving établissage about preserving the fact of working in your own home as an independent, expert in your field, maybe the world expert in your field. This is what we see and meet in Le Locke, making the best of the best, la crème de la crème, 
of craftsmanship and we want to defend this, we want to protect this, we want to nurture that. And this is also the spirit of We Collect Rare People and this is also the spirit of Antarctic. So, I hope you like our new watch. If you want to see it, you have to come to Geneva or maybe one day, if you don't come to Geneva, I will come to you or Pierre or Valeria will come to you, which we hope because traveling is fantastic. Enjoy time and see you soon.